Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Manish Kumar. Basically, I'm from India. I'm now uh, working at the University of Delhi. And uh, we are going. I'm going to present a recent work on the experimental analysis of cosmostatic behavior of bio-inspired magnetic patterns. This work is done uh, with the collaboration of University of Padua and La Spezia Roma. So the outline of my presentation was that of the motivation, then uh, the experimental findings, then its numerical modeling, and we we'll perform some parametric studies based on the mental simulations. The last I will summarize. So as we know, when we are doing grinding, we melt the material in a very small zone near the joint. And uh, the rapid solidification of this uh, quantum material gives to the heat affected zone. Gives to the heat affected zone, which is uh, very weak. Uh, we, we see that most of the failures started from the heat affected zone. So, to analysis is we perform the experimental analysis for which. We consider the 304 stainless steel. Uh, we took a sheet of 2 mm thickness and we use the water jet cutting method to make the welding surface. And then we use the laser welding to make the well. And finally, we use the water jet again to make these specimens. These are the parameters that we have used for both the processes. This was the specimen that we have used. And we, in the starting, we go with the linear well. We have a linear well here. And from its tensile uh, test, we found that uh, the radius of the linear well is around 10 percent lower than the parent material, as we, we it was expected. So we want to increase this. So to, we come up with a. We can see here this tested plot also. We can see that there is a huge gap near the radius region. This is the broken specimen. Uh, we can see the close up near the white station. Well, the Young's modulus for both the uh, for the parent material and the weld was similar. So, to improve the strength of this weld, we come up with the idea of in which we use the bio inspired welding pattern, which is basically interlocking welding surfaces. So, we test two surfaces one is the sinusoidal surface, and another one is the sort of weld. So using the similar approach that we use to produce the linear well we use here to produce this specimen. This was the specimen shape after the welding. And when we performed the experiments, we found that uh, the white case is improved in both the cases. And we are like 3% uh, lower than the parent materials. So we are seeing the improvements with this method. If we even look on the test and put behavior, we can see that now we are Facing the idea to the parent material. These are the broken specimens, and we can see that now the specimen is not breaking from the well, which was the case of the linear well. So, this approach is better than the linear well to improve the strength of the joint. And we can see that uh, here also. So, now we want to perform the mental simulation for this. So, first of all, we need a computation model. So we go with the first we perform the simulation for the parent material. This was our computation model. We use this metric, we can use this metric for the parent material. And uh, we use these 25 mm uh, points to measure the stress and strain in the simulation because we are using the extensometer in this in, during the experiments. And for this, uh, we have used total number of elements of 600. And we perform the elastoplastic analysis and we found that. We are very close to the experimental results. Also, we can see here in the zoom portion. So now it's time to introduce the weld. So to introduce the weld, we know there is a heat affected zone. So to model this heat affected zone, we come up with a theory that uh, we, assume, we model this heat affected zone with a new material. And to find these material properties, we perform some numerical numerical simulations. And with trial and error, we will finalize the properties of heat affected zone. When we have those properties, we compare it with the, mental, with the experimental simulations. When we have a good match, we can say that this uh, computationally predicted properties of heat affected zone are the properties of the heat affected zone material. So, 
So we prepare a computation model in which we have a thickness of the heat factor zone is the point 1.5 mm across the band. And we found that here we can see this is the heat factor zone at the bottom, which is, which is expected to be lower than the parent material and the band also, which is well below than the parent material. And our computation model, but its value well deserves, is in good agreement with the experiments. You can see it also in the zone portion. We are able to predict very good uh, heat strength in the starting of the plastic zone. So now the question arises: How we decide the heat factors on thickness? So for that, we perform the weaker hardness test. So we, for the linear well, we observe that there is a change in the hardness. So the change in the hardness starting from 1.5 mm on the both sides of the well. So that's why we take the 3 mm as the thickness of the heat factor zone. But when we perform the similar simulations on the bio-inspired wells, we found that we are not able to find any particular starting of the it, the hard change in the hardness, and also for this uh, test, we use this uh, value point to perform the micro hardness test. And it's also difficult to choose the location, so we come up with a inquiry that how we can convert this uh, heat factor zone in the linear well into the heat factor zone for the pattern well. So we have this pattern. We have dimension A and B. What are the geometrical dimensions for this pattern? This pattern, and we're using this relation, we can convert the heat factor, the thickness of the heat factor zone from the linear well to the pattern one. We use this relation. Now we have this solution. The thickness we have the zero properties, so we can perform these simulations for the pattern well also. So this was the computation model. Now we have the curves uh, in the Heat factor zone. So we have to go with the fine mesh as compared to the linear well. And here we can't use this metric, so we have to model the full model. And uh, from the numerical simulations, we found that our method is able to predict very nice results for both uh, the salt well and sinusoidal well. Even if we look at the close view, we are in a very good agreement. So now, what's the use of this theory? Now we want to exploit this. Simulation by doing parametric studies and see what, what are the dimensions which can give us a good, better results. So, we we'll keep this uh, dimension being fixed and start varying the dimension A. We perform the three simulations with a 3 mm, 3.75, 5.2. In the experiments, we have already 44.5. So, from the experiments, we found that when we start increasing the dimension A, we are going to the close to the parent material. If we have a close look, you can see that with a 5.25, we are very near to the parent material. And uh, to summarize this, uh, in this work, we, uh, we show the experimental behavior of 304 for the various welding patterns. And we found that bias for welding patterns are predicting better results as compared to the linear one, and it's close to the parent material. We propose the numerical model to predict this behavior and this empirical mission to obtain the thickness of the heat factor zone for the violence by dwelling patterns from using the geometry of the pattern and the linear well pattern. We perform the parametric studies and try to see the effect of the, change, the different values and amplitude of the shape. This model can be further extend to optimize the shape of the pattern. Right now, we are only with the, with the static test SLS. Now, we are planning to go with the fatigue test also for this. And at last, I, will thank, I want to thank all the collaborators and the funding agencies. Thank you.